Hi guys, my name is Jibin. Welcome back to Fixlog. Today we are going to start a new tutorial series for React Native Developers. So, this is a blank project uh, created by uh, me few minutes ago. This is using React uh, 16.1.7 and React Native is 0.62.2. So, this is the latest version available at this time so what we are going to today going to do is uh, we are going to create a stack navigator uh, with the react native sorry react navigation version 5 so without too much talking let's start so to use uh, react navigation version so we have to install some dependencies so the first one is uh, react navigation sorry i first installed the react navigation stack it's okay so if you want to use the tab navigator you have to install additional dependency if you want to use the drawer navigation then you have to install additional dependency that's how react navigation work so first uh, first you have to install the react navigation itself and then uh, stack tab etc uh, you can find the documentation in the website uh, like this uh, this is uh, react navigation version 5 documentation so so that's how so then we have to install uh, some more dependency uh, this is reanimated uh, gaster and run things like that it's also required so after finishing it you have to install the post dependency for iOS. So about React version 60, we don't have to link things manually, it will automatically done by the package itself. So to install all the dependency to the iOS, we have to install port dependency in iOS. okay then we have to get rid of the default template we are going to call this command as app uh, doesn't have any parameters right now okay then we have to use the navigation container okay So we also have to import it from React Navigation itself. We also need React Navigation stack to create a stack navigation. Don't worry about the error. We have to create a new constant name stack or whatever you know. You can call it name as well. Then we can as a function or a constant actually. Then we can create the navigation. It works like a component main dot navigator. Okay, then main dot screen. Then name. Okay, before that we have to create some screens. Okay screen slash home dot json then we have to create some styles so it effects of one specify content dot sender of center you have to apply the styles to that command 
guys dog home okay then we also have to create one more screen let's go like count or you can go whatever you want So we can copy paste the same file from here or we can separate this child command from both the files and import them to both sorry import to both tile tile stored form okay okay then we can call this as home and we can specify the component as of now we see oh, they were automatically imported uh, uh, main dot screen this is the next screen you can call it whatever we want account or like to call it then the account Okay, it is paying sick or no tension. Okay, we have to rerun the app. My internet connection is a little slow, so we have to wait and return. Okay, we forgot to import this child sheet. Okay, now the navigation is working fine. So how we can navigate from one screen to another? This is an okay, not a class command, this is a functional command. So how we can do that? So first I'm going to create a button that's a property it will get automatically important important sorry then say go to account right okay so we are going to style the button with a padding vertical of 15 and padding horizontal 45 border border radio sorry Okay, border radius of uh, 20. So this, uh, and then we can give the background the color of hash uh, 2, 4, 5, 6. I don't even know a color like this. Is this. Press type. Style store button. Okay. Okay, now it's working. Okay. So how we can navigate when you press the button? So we have to 
create an own task callback okay then we have to import the navigation okay okay navigation dot navigate okay. to account the name that we gave here okay so let's test so the navigation is uh, working fine so this is how we can use uh, react navigation version 5 with the functional components you can use class components instead of functional it will work the same you can use box uh, you might get confused right here maybe some of you you can do like this it also has the same effect to work it's called array destructuring you can You can get all the probe values as like this by using array destructuring. You can Google it, or if you don't understand what array is, you can create a video on that. So that's it for the video. Uh, then in the next video, we are going to combine both stack, tab, and row navigation together, and go on to apply some icons and styles to add and things. Okay, thank you guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video.